Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimSwitch and today we're doing something rather different. Um, we're doing a stock car challenge in the Chevy Corvette Z06 C5 and we're starting off on Cota East at like the top end of the track um, and this is the very first time I've ever played Forza Motorsport multiplayer. Uh, Forza Motorsport 7 multiplayer, and it's about as I expected, about as chaotic as expected. Um, as you should expect from a stock car, the brakes are pretty awful, uh, especially this being an American muscle car. But um, it doesn't give up too much PI, it's only 7. But I think it does make a difference and I think the biggest difference is the fact that it's got no tune whatsoever um, but it is quite a good car for B class because of its top end that guy wait he just disappeared there uh, he's oh yeah because it uh, we moved over to lap 6 nothing happened that guy kept cussing corners whichever track he was on I even changed lobbies and he was in the next lobby and he was still cutting corners. Um, so nothing happened through to lap uh, from overtaking that guy on lap 1 through to lap 6, absolutely nothing happened. Um, I mean that other guy just pulled away because he was cutting corners. Uh, and this guy behind me, you can see him in the rearview mirror, he's caught up and I guess that mini must have fell, fell away um, I think I don't know, that, that is second place I think he must have been hit into a wall or something so this looked like a third place uh, podium finish in my very first race and it told me it was a podium finish but then yeah it changed changed it to fourth and I'm not too sure what but the fact I set a clean lap left me on the front row of the grid for this race. That other guy was a lap down in the previous race. I guess he just wanted to set a clean lap. Um, and here, uh, I think I was assisted a little bit wide. Um, I didn't have a proper look. And that left me in last other than the guy who sat on the grid. And that guy, I think he must have pushed him off. And a lot of tyre smoke, that's very typical of Forza Online, I've been told. And this was pretty much a theme of the video, uh, of this race even. Um, like, he was getting away through that section, the Mini. Uh, and then through this section here, uh, I would gain on him. Yeah, the Belgian driver, I kept gaining on him through the second hairpin, all the way up to the first hairpin, uh, down this straight, but I'd lose out through, is it Graham Hill Bend? Uh, I absolutely hate that corner. And that doesn't really help um, your case if you're drifting through, is it Paddock Hill Bend? Um, despite that, I really caught up to him but getting a poor run through Druids and yeah, Graham Hill Bend as well uh, running a bit wide and getting on the power a bit too hastily and he kept getting away um, I did turn traction control on for one race and it was a mistake because it said it was going to rain and it didn't uh, yeah, so I was surprised that Mini was as slidey as it was. It didn't seem to have much power, um, and it shouldn't weigh much. And I think they're front wheel drive, so I wasn't sure why it was getting so much tyre smoke out of it. Um, then through to lap 7, uh, still same sort of position, but I got a really good run through here in comparison. I really should be good at this track um, and if I was choosing any car I would use the Lotus 340R because that is absolutely dominant here um, yeah and I've set 
just outside top 100 now, it's been pushed outside top 100 around this track in those 340R. And also around Brands Full I did quite a good lap. Was that top 100? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was top 100, maybe even top 50. I can't remember. So it looks like we're going to not get a podium. And... I don't know what this guy was doing. That's the guy who was on pole. And yeah, so we redeemed... We didn't get a podium in the last one when we should have done. We shouldn't have got a podium here, but we did. So it sort of all worked out. There's a Mustang just drove by outside. And then it went over to Spa, despite that not being in the selection of tracks. Um, I guess everyone picked random. Same with brands, actually. Um, it was a choice of like Sebring and VIR, one of the like 34,000 layouts. Um, and it ended up being brands, which surprised me. Um, yeah, so not the best start and about where I was. And I didn't mean to cut off that guy um, into turn one. I was sort of trying to defend, um, but I didn't want to cut him off. I guess I didn't, I didn't realise he was there. That's the issue with cockpit view. But, um, that guy, I got a poor run out of the previous corner into Blanchemont and uh, I tried to take it too quick so I let the guy have the position because um, I like to be a clean driver um, yeah he got away but that guy who was leading the race by a long way he decided to eat that barrier and through pull on I had a really poor run I mean, I should have been good at this because it was only earlier this week I did a top 200 lap around Spa. Although it was in the 037 rather than um, this Corvette, which is not ideal for Spa, I don't think. And this guy caught me up. Uh, I can't remember what he was in. Is it? Is it a Holden of sorts? It's definitely an old muscle car. That's about all I can say for definite. Um, yeah, that corner I always tr end up cutting a bit too much. And through Blanchemont, he sort of lost out. And that other guy who was leading by a long way caught up. And they sort of had an argument. And then into the bus stop chicane. I thought I was going to get taken out when I saw that in the rearview mirror. Um, and again, in the rearview mirror, he very nearly took me out very desperate for fourth position um, yeah so that seems to be my favorite position I finished there in the first race apparently uh, I should have finished there in the second one and I finished there in the third one um, now over to Le Mans a track that should have suited me and this was actually a rainy race uh, if you can believe that that's why I had traction control on um, I thought it was going to be like four to six, where the rain was absolutely torrential, and like you get spat out by puddles and stuff. Um, so I played it rather conservative here, going through on the inside. Uh, I hit my breaking point, but that guy didn't. And yeah, yeah, that that's annoying. Some people use you as brakes, which yeah, you can't really do much about. Um, that guy thought he was going to make a good move um, but yeah we we get the position back quite easily he sort of ran wide I don't know where he is actually oh, he's on the, on the outside um, and that is not an optimal line uh, onto a straight a straight as long as this one being the old ball sand circuit uh, this is the longest straight in the game isn't it because I know the one at the Nürburgring, Nordschleife, is quite long. That guy had insane power. Um, so that, that's what I thought would happen. Uh, but my top end allowed me to gain on these guys. Like that guy was a sitting duck. And then those guys didn't really know where their brakes were. Um, and I, that guy caught up to me through the handling section. And uh, he doesn't know where the track limits are, evidently, which is rather annoying. 
because uh, I, I always try to obey the track limits and be clean. Um, yeah, you get people like that. So, yeah, on to the next one. So I actually backed out of that lobby. Um, I went into a new one and straight back to Le Mans. This time at night, and it's the Circuit de la Sarthe rather than the Ole Mont Saint. And starting right at the back getting a better launch than some of these people uh, which I was surprised about being a stock car uh, you don't expect the launch to be that great or the brakes but um, it's got quite a decent launch this car a lot of power or like mid, mid range power for B class I know there's much more powerful stuff in B class but people generally only use them for hot lapping because uh, most people can't handle them online so Oh, we're not actually in last, I thought we were. Someone's had a horrendous accident there. And those guys can't drive. Uh, and that is a um, top quality example of the people rejoining on Forza. I thought that Kuntash was going to be rapid, but uh, it wasn't. And uh, all those positions gained was for nothing, because I forgot. Well, I knew the breaking point was there, and I had to avoid that guy. Um, it's just I forgot it was a stock car rather than a standard one so I tried to brake when it went red and that didn't really work out for me so I only lost a couple of positions there um, that is annoying that that happened this guy uh, despite my poor run doesn't have any acceleration uh, that, that was something I found odd people didn't really seem to change car I know I wasn't because I was doing a stock car challenge um, but I other people I thought generally um, change and then considering I've done this on the previous circuit I should have known where I was braking um, and just didn't so yeah I was I was up in fifth that guy cut in the corner in the contact um, then I accidentally cut across that guy unintentionally and yeah I should never have gone for that move um, that was daft um, yeah, sometimes you're a bit too optimistic, and I definitely was there. Um, and then I actually gained towards the end of this straight on that thing. I'm not sure what it is. Is it a dodge? Um, it's like a 70s uh, muscle car. I don't know what one it is. And I thought they were going to take each other out, uh, so I sort of stayed out of it and they kind of did um, so now back up to 7th which isn't ideal, I know I should have done a lot better um, it'd be interesting to see where I would have finished without those two stupid mistakes that are really rookie errors uh, I think in a video I actually said I'm quite competent at them on uh, previously but I should retract that statement after watching and playing it in this video um, and that guy, he didn't really know where track limits were either. Um, and he sort of forced me, he sort of rammed into me to try and stop me getting past, so that other car came through. Um, yeah, you get people like that desperate for sixth place. Um, and because that lap, was, uh, that track was only one lap, um, that left me in sixth for the next race. So 15 people at Long Beach going to turn one. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it actually was. Uh, that guy hit me at some point um, in the race for absolutely no reason. Um, and I'm not sure why. Not not up the back. He went into the, he just drove into the side of me for some reason. That guy outbraked himself and I gained one off the line um, through better acceleration. I don't know what happened to him. I I don't think there's a curb there, so I don't know why he veered off that way. Uh, lap two, so the, the top two had gained quite a lot, a lot of ground on me. Um, them having actual tunes, and me having a stock car, uh, not helped by my poor driving. But um, yeah, I was never going to be able to keep this guy behind for long. Um, and yeah, Long Beach, not a track I'm strong at. Yeah. So that 
that I expected to happen was that guy coming back through um, and then lighting up the rear wheels didn't help so I sort of lost ground and then on lap 3 a guy in an alpha came through I think he's using a tune that I used in a previous video uh, by Lionel uh, going narrow didn't really help my uh, cause uh, I don't think I hit him but going narrow really compromised the exit and then through here I nearly took it too hot I just graze off the wall uh, that would have been really stupid because I've seen loads of people piled up there before um, but finishing third somehow and that's where I'm going to leave the video thank you very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed uh, I hope to see you in the next one and bye for now